Uh, I don't know what it was. It, oh, he's going cheek. Okay, cool. Here I am. Yeah, Lewis, uh, he's just kind of on a heater right now. I don't understand it. He's playing hot. It, it's it's whenever he loses early in winter side, he just goes crazy. He's I, like, I'm gonna get second or first. I feel ya. Yeah, I, I was telling I was telling him after he beat me, I was like I was like that was the first set in forever that hasn't been like a heart attack. Because right. because usually when him and I fight, it's like game five, yeah. and it's like a coin flip as to who wins. Yeah. But he just three owed me. Yeah. So. Which doesn't happen. So that was. He's 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 running on rage and like probably Starbucks coffee. Who is it? Yeah, he's, adrenaline. America runs on Duncan. And Bunko's running on everything he's got left in the tank right now. Yeah, the intensity kind of keeping him alive. You yep. know. Yep. I find that losers' runs are almost like easier than winners' runs in a way. Right. Like obviously winners' runs, you have to like win less rounds, but I feel like it's so much easier to like. And winners be like, ah, this is it. This is my big match to, you know, get into top eight winners side or right. to get into winners finals or to get into grands. Right. It's like there's something being dangled in front of you, you yes. know, that you're uh, tantalized by. But uh, in losers, you're just like, I'll take whatever I can get, you yeah. know. Yeah. And I am comfortable being down in the mud. If you're not comfortable being down yeah. in the mud, then I'm gonna win. Come on, we're we're all piggies here. It's time to it's time to scrap, guys. Come on. Exactly. We yeah, gotta learn. Like... That's but, it. Yeah. See ya. Yep. Tyvex, uh, interesting uh, dual main. I mean, obviously we have the Mutiking trio. Uh, yep. Tyvex plays those minus Fox. Yep. So Sheik and Marth covers quite a few matchups. Yes. He was telling me it's like everyone except for DK. Yeah. So. And like maybe like uh, like Puff might be like a weird one, right. you know, like if you if you don't like Puff Marth or something. Yeah. You know. But that one's definitely winning for Marth. But yeah. Anyway, this should be a kill. If you just oh, that's I, crazy. I thought he was gonna down tilt. I'm shocked that that forward tilt actually popped him up there. Yeah. Buck has got to get a little gas going. It's like your dad when he's got the pull start. He's yeah. trying to. Hey and son. It, you gotta yank it faster yeah. and harder. Dude, my dad would not let our lawnmower die so much that I used to, as a ten year old, jump start it with the car. Lol. And really. That is why my profile picture is a lawnmower because I. It's a symbol of your childhood. Yes, you know? it was me, ten years old, at the driver's seat, jumping, starting a lawnmower. There's a Freudian element to yes. it, you know. Exactly. Also, I am a lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> what am I without it? Also, Bunko getting an early, early kill. Oh, that's yeah. funky. How does he see that? Funko Bunko. <laughs> Bunko Pop. Yeah, that's what I was immediately was like, we get a Funko Pop Bunko, please. Yeah. Do you play some friendlies after this, by the way? Uh, I'll play a best of five. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that'd be sick, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there we go. Nice. Alrighty, Lewis, rocking and rolling this game. Yep. Timex kind of looking a little confused right now. Yeah, it's a completely different. It's the same. You're playing the same guy you just played game one, but uh, came out heavy. Yeah. No, for sure. Now it's only a one stock lead, and of course Sheik can uh, tie that up very quickly. Yeah. There's been two parts of Bunko's game today that's been really good that I want to see uh, continue is his dash dancing, which he's not doing any of right now, and kind of he's kind of Stonewall. He's kind of like those rocks out in Ireland or wherever they yeah. are. Yeah. Uh, Stonehenge. And the other thing <laughs> is uh, he goes off stage and just puts back airs out, not to hit people, but just so they can't get close Occupy to Occupy that space. Yes, yeah, exactly. exactly. Salco so. does the same thing with lasers, too. Or sometimes you shoot a laser, not because you think it's going to hit, but just to, uh, to deter someone from being able to go somewhere. You yeah, know? exactly. It's kind of like when you you don't want someone to sit next to you on the bus, so you put a laptop, yeah. something there. It's like, like Forrest Gump it. You yeah, know? exactly. Ooh, gets the reverse. Yeah, now it's Tyvex is uh, down to his last stock this game. Yeah, Tyvex immediately is like, all right, I just got to get wrapped. And here it is. Oh, transformation makes it weird. <laughs> oh, Lord. Everyone at home was quiet, so that way you could hear the timings. Ooh, Ooh another. Oh, big slap. No, no, no. Ooh, big forward air. Ooh, waits out the get of attack, too. Cerebral. Yeah. Oh, he's getting a little, Ooh. Getting a little into play, play. Uh, Any oh. extra percent is super brutal. Yep. Oh, there's. Oh, he sharked it. Ooh. Good needles. That's oh. it. No. Okay, the crouch cancel. How does that poof hit him? He was so, it was such a late hitbox. Ah. Uh, oh, he does the run through down air. And he trades. But Double that's trade. It. Amazing back air. That's crazy. Clutching it out. Let's go, Bunko. 
Bug has been really on that run through back air because you don't even need to shield stop it. You can yeah. just do it, and it, it beats um, it beats spot dodge, and a lot of times people will drop their shield. Um, so now we're going Yoshi's Marth, and uh, this is where Bunko gets sad. Um, oh, he tries to go for oh no, he tried to go for um, Scar Jump, but <laughs> make it weird. Oof. Yeah, this is where Bunko, oh. like I said, it's just like, I've talked to Bunko about, a lot about this Marth matchup. It's doable, but when when it feels like it's not doable, it's over. Yeah, like, it's, it's you, if you can feel the jaws of defeat, yep. the, you've defeated yourself by them, you know, instilling that doubt in you, you exactly. know? Exactly. You have to believe in yourself. And no one does that better than Marth, because once you're doubting yourself, you're kind of, you know, the gears are all rusted up, you're not moving as well, and then you just get smash attack, and you're dead, and grab, and you're dead. Oh, way to jump out. Oh, funky. I like the grab idea by Tybex, but... Good sharking. Almost fast fell underneath, but I was able to close it. Here, uh, Percy Jackson's got a new show. I did. Everyone that, uh, everyone that read that when they were, what, 10? Now they're all 27. They guys. read the Digimon to Harry Potter's Pokemon. Yep, yep. What is it with, like, at first it was like every kid wants to go to a magic camp. They had Camp Rock, you yep. know, Camp Half-Blood, uh -huh. Harry Potter Land. You know, Hogwarts or yeah. whatever. Just uh, trying to get away from their parents. And, and then the series where like, let's have the kids grapple with the effects of like totalitarian fascism <laughs> controlling their media. You uh -huh. know, uh -huh. let's have Divergent. Let's have the Maze Runner. Yep. You yep. know, let's do Red Dawn with Josh Peck. Yep. As the uh, fucking Charlie Sheen. Yep. Uh, and, stand in. And then they were like, you know what? Uh, let's get a little too too serious. Let's get the Diary of Whippy Kids. Yeah, hey. yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, everyone. Let's, it looks funny. Let's create a cult following around the most mediocre piece of art ever created. Uh, what's his name? Jeff Kipley? Or Jeff uh, Kinney. Kenny? He's a term. Shout out to Jeff. He's a terrorist? He's No, he's a terrapin. He's from Mar he went to the University of Maryland. Oh, he's a terrapin. Yeah, oh, I he's see. from MDVA. He is a term. I didn't know that. They, 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 they got a statue of um, Greg Hefley. I see. It's, it's along with the Jim Henson statue. Yes, they're right by each other. You can go rub Kermit in oh. in rock form, and then uh, Greg from Diary of a Wimpy Kid in steel form. Ooh, and, that is cerebral. Yes. I love that. I love I love statues. I feel like statues are a forgotten art form. You this know, is true. Back in the day, they were like, let's make like a giant iron colossus to commemorate someone. Right. And like now, it's like let's like Photoshop them next to like a cup of lean and like <laughs> Supreme backwoods, uh, like with like discolored filtration or whatever. Do you see the cutie Cinderella thing, where uh, she made a Rip Aiden shirt? I don't know if you watched the yard at all. Yeah, I, I know, I know, Aiden. That's hilarious, they, though. They sold that. They sold a lot of those T-shirts. Yeah, as I say, that's that's the new Andy Warhol. You know, yeah. they're doing their own, you know, like factory shit or whatever. Yeah. But um, back in the day, you know, we got we got our best metal workers on it. Oh wow. Oh no, dude. Bunker went on a heater for a second. I was gonna be quiet. He actually could have taken that stock and taken a lead. What a crazy catch. I like that. Don't like that. Oh, trying to get out of the edge guard. Bunko is playing with fire right now. He refuses to give up this ledge, and yeah. this is where the fire burns. And Tyvex is looking real confident in this position. Love the little spacing. Bunko's on match point right now, and he's playing like a madman. He's not giving up. He yeah. knows it. Well, you, he have to, yep. you have to play assertively yes. when you're backed into the corner. He wants that statue. Game five, potentially. Ooh, he's dash dancing out of there. Oh, no. Okay. Ooh, type X is a big conversion. All right. Hacks Ooh, dashes. Ooh, okay. All right. He's, no, he's feeling less. Ooh, CC'd it. I like that. Could he get a... Oh, ah, tried to get a grab, I think, but... Oh, he's, he's out. Ooh. Oh. Ah! ah! Type X is all over him. The go! Oh. The tipper combo. Nice. Good mix-up. Uh, Louis Diang out there. Type X immediately recognizing checkmate and uh, winning 
Xanadu 540. Yeah. Welcome yeah. back, Tybex. Congrats on the baby. Uh, hey. This yes. was this was an unexpectedly kind of stacked Xanadu. I feel like I showed up here and there was like four people and I was like, I got this shit <laughs> for free. First Xanadu. I'm going to be all over the top eight graphic. Yep. And now I am not. Uh, well, I'm fourth, you know. That's yeah. cool. But... Uh, yeah, Tyvex, David, and also like Lewis playing amazing today. Oh yeah, you know I love getting to see Lewis beat uh, David. Like it's cool to see people actually taking him down. Yeah, it makes him feel more of a of a man. They've you know actually I mean? had a competitive rivalry recently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lewis so. has taken a number of game fives. So yeah, yeah. shout outs to him. Uh, shout outs to everybody that tuned in tonight. Thank you for hanging out here. Yeah. Uh, shout outs to Bry Guy for commentating. Hey, thank you. Shout out to you. Oh. Uh, shout out to my girlfriend because I can say that. Uh, Let's go. And uh, shout out Melee. Let's go. We'll catch y'all at uh, the next function. Yeah.